have tremendous trouble seeing that small print, but things have turned out. It's been a great ride, uh, 20 years, and uh, again, we have the most responsible government, county government, I think I've ever seen. Uh, 20 years ago, our population was quite a bit smaller. We were at about 63,000. Uh, we were growing by about 2% per year. Well, so, uh, 2024, that percentage has only gone up to 3%, 50% increase, but the population is so huge now, uh, 3,200 people a year. So that's, we're growing, and, and I will tell you, we need to be very up right now because in the next 5, 10, 15 years, the world is going to change dramatically for us. And we better hope that the County Commission remains sharp and that you can keep these guys with their, with their eye on the ball here. Because there's tremendous infrastructure that's got to be there. They've got the money. They've got the plan. We've never had that. We have that today. Um, their, their capital plan in, in uh, 2004, when I came there, they didn't have a capital plan. Today, their capital plan sits at just under $300 million, and it is fully funded. They have a plan. They're doing the job right. I know it sounds like I'm here running for county commission, but it's rare to get to this point and have things run so darn smoothly. And that's part of my decision to leave now. Leave now. We've done what we came here to do. When I owned debt in uh, 2004, every man, woman, and child in Nassau County owed $1,625. Today, they owe $239. That's like 20 cents of today's dollars. And we could literally, if we were out by the bond covenant to pay it off, I could write the check between here and my car outside, and it wouldn't even make, you wouldn't see it on the balance sheet. I mean, it's that small because they haven't passed any more long-term bonds since I've been there. And going back to Chris's statement, get out of debt, stay out of debt, pay as you go. Sometimes you got to go in debt, there's no doubt. But we had stupid debt. We had debt we didn't have to have. Uh, we know about private placement debt. We know about bridge loans now. We know how to get the job done by saving our money in advance and having a credible capital plan. The day I took office, we were on global credit watch negative. It was very, uh, one of the attorneys in town called me and said, do you realize what you've done? I said, no, I don't know what I do. He said, you. You have just uh, taken on a job. I'm not sure you're ready for it. You guys are upside down financially. And we were. That first article I read, the reserves were essentially gone. There was no capital plan. There was no, no plan, period. Back then, the Fitch Rating Company, in August of 2004, said a sap. deficit was projected for that fiscal year and external borrowing would be needed to meet cash flow. That's against the law, by the way. You can't borrow money to balance your budget in the state of Florida. There's a constitutional amendment that requires you to have a balanced budget each and every year. The county drew down $2.4 million just to make the budget. The reserve position was depleted. The rating also considered, quote, political and management weaknesses, financial deterioration, County's political oversight and management has resulted in the deterioration of operating reserves. We were on this. We were on Skid Row, Skid Row financial today. Same thing with Mitch rating. The county's overall debt and adjusted net pension liabilities are very low. The county's high fundamental financial flexibility is due to robust reserve levels. We manage about $300 million in excess funds. Most, most of the governments don't do that. They, they're not capable of doing it. We, we're doing it quite well. We have significant expenditure and revenue raising a, a flexibility. In other words, we haven't used up our taxing ability. If we, have, if, we, if we have a punch, we can roll with the punch. If there's a downslide in the economy, we're going to be fine. You'll never know we had a problem because we're not going to have a problem. That's how solid this is. The county's low long-term liability burden is another credit strength. The county is well positioned to maintain a high level of fundamental financial flexibility. 
The county has prudently built up reserves in the past five years, which affords a great flexibility to address both future downturns and potential growth-related pressures. I don't know what more to say than to say we're there, we've arrived, we've done it right. The elections have consequences. Please, please, when you go to the polls this year, these guys are doing a great job. Please consider Mitch Hyder to take my job as council. Mitch has been at my side for 19 years now. He knows every department. He knows as much as you can possibly know of the court. And the day that I walk out of there or if I die, this is your guy. That's about all I can say to you if you're it. Chris, thank you so much for that wonderful introduction tonight. Thanks for allowing me to come back one more time. This is the uh, Rolling Stones John Crawford uh, Goodbye Court. <laughs> Any questions for the clerk?